Hello everyone. Today we are going to be doing this picture here, which is in my book. Uh, it's in my book. Let's see where my book is right here. The Secret Door. Uh, this is the picture that I used for one of my poems, but I thought it was really cute and I thought this would be a great video to show you how I did this. I have had this for a couple of months and I've made some art and I've loved every second of it. So I wanted to share that with you in case you want to make some art and figure out how I've done what I've done. After all the uh, trial and error, I can show you what I've learned. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a new one by pressing the plus. Then we're going to press this little thing here and we're going to do 3000 by 3000. That's going to give us a nice square. That's going to be the, the a good amount that you can share with people. Now, we are going to go to the little wrench right here, and we are going to add pictures. Now, if you don't have any of these pictures, this is how you get them. You can add your own pictures, or you can go to Unsplash, or you can go to any other place that has royalty-free pictures that you're allowed to use. Now, I found this cat. I loved it. I downloaded it. I also checked to make sure that I could use it. You can say thanks, or you can give a donation, but you don't have to especially if you're gonna get a bunch of pictures. And then once you download it, it'll be here in your files. So you click file. These are the pictures, and these are the ones that we're gonna use. We're gonna start with a space picture. There it is. And that's the one we're gonna use. So let's go to our Procreate. Let's go to our blank canvas, and let's go to our little wrench, insert file. And where's the space picture? Oh, there it is. Okay, now we have space. We're going to, use, I can use my fingers, just go like this, and I'm gonna put it right here. Done, we have space. Okay, next we're going to add another picture. Insert file. Here's our kitty cat. Really cute. But I don't want all of the turquoise there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out the turquoise. And this is how I'm going to do it. There might be some different ways of doing it, but this is how I do it. I press the little S, which is the cutout. I'm going to press freehand. This is a rectangle and this is a circle, but I'm going to press freehand. Hey, let's try automatic. Let's see. Oh, geez. <laughs> I, I have never seen that before. That is scaring me to death. All right. It's <laughs> It's cute, but what the heck? That is actually really adorable. <laughs> Those eyes are really killing me here. Okay, <laughs> look, innocent, evil. Innocent, evil, just the eyes. The eyes look like, I'm gonna mess you up. Okay, so freehand, this is back to innocent. So I'm gonna press this. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. So I wanna make sure I'm on the right one. So I'm on the cat one, I'm gonna press this. And then I'm gonna go like, is this working? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna get out and go back in. Okay, here we're, we're pressing the S. Now we're gonna start at a good spot right here and we're gonna go like this. When you start, you also wanna stop every once in a while because whenever you make a mistake, you're gonna go back to that spot where you stopped. So let's say here we make a mistake. Tap, goes back to here. Tap, goes back to the beginning. So start at the beginning again. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go back and use that other cat for a different picture. The the, the negative uh, of the cat, that's so cute and funny. Okay, we're gonna lift this up and we're gonna go like this. And my screen just went a little bit darker so I hope my battery's not gonna die because my phone and camera battery has also died. Okay, here, I'm going to go as quickly as possible because I can't take a chance on my battery running out. I've done this video like five times and I can't, uh, I can't do it again, I'm telling you. Okay, so then we've done the fast version of this, but we're, we're just going to go up there. You can make it as perfect as you want. Then when you get to the little dot, if you don't see any lines, just squiggle the dot a little bit. Squiggle it. Squiggle it until the lines come up. Squiggle, squiggle. There. You see these lines? That's what you keep. And we want to keep the cat not the turquoise. So you're going to press invert. Now the lines are on the cat. That's what we're going to keep. So you're going to press the eraser and 
You're going to make the eraser as big as possible. And then you're going to erase. Whatever isn't lined is going to be erased. And make sure that you're on the right layer. Otherwise, you're going to be erasing stuff that you don't want to erase. But you can always press the back button if you make a mistake. So we're going to go like this. Okie dokes. We're going to go like this. Now, you can see there's still little bits of blue that I don't like. So I'm going to keep it on the eraser, make it small. And I'm going to zoom in and just give him a little haircut. Wait, take this off first. Now we can do it. Oh, that's too big. Press back. Make it small. Okay, now we're going to give him a little tiny haircut. No big deal. It doesn't have to be perfect because he's going to be in a bubble. But I don't want blue messing up my color scheme. Turquoise. Even this is my favorite color. But still. Okay, little kitty needs to be perfect for his big debut. All right, we're going to go like this. See, just little minor things. Not a big deal. Just, just wherever you see a lot of background that you don't want. By the way, yeah, like I was saying before, if you make a mistake, you press the back button. And if there's something you don't want, uh, just get rid of it. And also, if you do your own, you can make this picture with your own cat. You can make this picture with your own space picture, like whatever you want to use for the background is fine. Whatever you want to use in the front is fine. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You just do whatever you want to do. Too much. Okay, there we go. There we go. I think I made this brush too small, but get rid of it. There we go. Okay, I just want to get rid of the blue. And the turquoise. Okay, we're going to make this good, but we're not going to make it perfect because it's going to be in a bubble. It's not going to matter that much. This is because we can make it without it being a pain in the butt. There. Okay. Uh -huh. And of course, you can play with this as much as you want on your own to make it perfect. I just don't want to make this a video where you're waiting for five years for me to make this perfect. Okay. There we go. Just some little details. And voila. Okay, let's shave his little armpit there. <laughs> okay, so we're good to go. Now we got this. Let's make it smaller by pressing the arrow key. Boom. He's good to go. Next, we are going to add in, with our little wrench, add in the bubble. Now, this is the important part, the bubble. Tell me when you see a bubble. Oh, uh, boy. I've got, like, the earth, the moon. I've got so many round things in here. There. So many round things in here. I'm going to mess it up. <clears throat> there. Next, we have this bubble. Now, we want to get rid of it, but I am really bad at drawing a circle. So, we're going to go to the S. Then we're going to go to Eclipse. Then we're going to make it start over here because it's going to move. Beautiful. Now, again, where the lines are is what you keep. So let's invert this little sucker. Get our eraser. Make it big. Do, 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 do. This is the funnest part of the thing. I love this part. Cha, 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 cha. Okay. Next, let's move the arrow. We're going to move it. Oops. This is just garbage. Look at this. Now we're going to move this and we're going to put it in front of the kitty cat. Go like this. Now we're going to take this and put the kitty in front. Boom. Okay. Here we are with a cat in a bubble by space. I'm going to go into the bubble, make it slightly smaller. And move it down a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Happy. Happy as a clam. Okay. Next, we're going to I personally feel like this is a great looking cat, but I wanted to make it a little bit weird or a little bit lighter. Uh, you can play, if you go down here, see where this N is? You can go like this and you can play with it to find out what kind of cat you want to have. I use this one because I want it to be light like that. You can do whatever kind of cat you want. Look, here's a freaky cat. You got the, the regular cat, then you got this light cat, you got this dark cat. 
You can't really see his eyes though, that's the only problem. I tried to make the cap black at one point, but I couldn't see the eye, the eyeballs. So I'm gonna stick with this, luminosity. Then you have a little L there. And then we are almost done. But here's the thing. It's in space, so I want to be a little bit off, a little bit weird. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna press bloom, and that is gonna make everything sparkle just a little bit. Take, oh, too much, too much. All right, that's about as much as I can make the cat sparkle. Now I'm gonna go to space. Here's space. Let's make space bloom a little bit. Ooh. See, this makes it lighter. Then we're gonna go to the bubble. And we're gonna make that bloom. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, but I don't want it to overpower the cat. So, I'm gonna go to hue and make it, try to make it, oh, oh, some little weird colors. Make it a little funkadelic. Look, there's a moon, moon cat. If you want him to be in the moon, that's the best way of doing it. But I want to just do something colorful. Then the other problem, this is, looks great, but the cat is not clear enough. I gotta do something with this cat. I want him to look a little bit more... Oh, look, there's the black cat. We did, we did it. Oh my gosh. This is if you want a black cat, okay? That looks pretty great. I just feel like there's not enough definition in the cat, though, so let's, let's, let's go back. I did want to try to get a black cat, but it didn't happen. Okay, look, this is this is like different types of cat. I still I want to stick with the I want to stick with a either a light cat or a dark cat, just because I don't want to look like an ordinary cat. I want it to be oh wow, look at that. That's a funkadelic cat. Okay, we're gonna stick with this, but I'm going to go to the bubble and make it a little bit less. Uh, there, I'm gonna make it, see, I want the cat to stick out, so look, you can make the bubble go like this, or you can make it like that. I'm gonna make it less, less, um, obvious, because I want the cat to stick out. In fact, I'm gonna do it even, even more, because look at what's happening. Oh, it looks so pretty, though. Okay, we're gonna go like this. And the cat is all the way to maximum. Let's go to the cat and just do the, the hue and the saturation, because, no. I want, I want to make the, okay, I'm going to go on the cat, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to hue and brightness. I want this cat to be a little more uh, sharp. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if that's making a bit of a difference. Okay, so this is, how, this is where we at. Let's check our other one to see how it went. This one's a lot more bright. Let's go back in. Okay, we're gonna take this. Let's do some color balance. Oh, we're on the wrong one. <laughs> we're on the cat. I need the bubble. Let's go in here and do some color balance. Look at that. That is a very, that's blue. And then we also want red. Okay, and then we also want, I wanna bloom this a little bit more. There we go. Okay, that is gonna be good. And then we're also gonna, there. Now that looks a lot more like the other one that we have over here. Obviously I play with it a little bit more and you can do the same. And I really feel like I wanna make this one, I wanna make this one more um, blue and the other one's more red. I wanna make it, really uh really funkadelic the other one, this is the, this is what the other bubble looked like by the way That's okay so my thing stopped recording again which is the sixth time and i figured out why it's because when it gets to low battery it stops so i have uh what i did was i got to the spot where i had the cat he looked he was very bright this is this is the one i did this is the one that we did today so I had the, the bubble, the bubble was fine. I decided to go back in and redo the cat. So what I did was I just, the cat was too see-through. So I went back, I put the cat in again, this cat, I put it in again and I cut it out again and then I put it in front of the thing and it wasn't as see-through. 
So that's how I got him to be less see-through. And you can see that the bubble is like this. I took, put the bubble in and then I bloomed it. I changed the color and I bloomed it. So this is the one that I did for the book. And this is the one that we did today. And that's how it looks in the end. Now you can add your own cat. You can add your own stuff. It doesn't matter what you put in here, as long as you now know how to use, how to do the, how to take a bunch of pictures and put them together. We learned today about this for adding the pictures. We learned about Unsplash for how to get the pictures. And you download it and then it goes into your file. And then you go into your Procreate, you start making up a, a canvas you use this to get your pictures in then you use this to move them around little arrow you use the s to cut it out what you want then you press invert if you're not if it's not uh if it doesn't have lines over top of it and you wherever you want the lines to be if the lines aren't where you want them to be press invert and it'll go to the opposite and then we did this one which is about changing your changing your uh your colors or using the bloom and making it brighter. See, there's the bubble getting brighter in the background. I didn't want it to be too bright because I didn't want it to be crazy, but this is how, I, how we start, how we ended with it. So that's what you've learned today. You've learned how to use all of these keys. And this one over here is for paint brushes, which we'll practice later. This one over here is the smudge key for smudging the corners or the edges. If you want to, you could go in and just smudge the edges like this. Wait, we use a better, a better, there we go. You could just smudge the edges like this if you wanted it to be spacey, but I don't do that because I think that it's perfect how it is. And then also, if you want to add a glow behind it, you could go like this. You could take this image, duplicate it, make it bigger than the other one, put it behind, the other one and this one here you could make this uh, have a Gaussian blur now you have a blurry edge around the outside if that's what you want to do and then you can just make this a little bit smaller so there's just like a, 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 a blur around the edges if you really want to have a blur around the edges or you could also make this really bright you wanted to have like a, a glow behind it or a different color glow behind it you can do lots of different things see that's really cool I didn't I decided not to do that because I thought it was just perfect how it was and you can delete it like this and I was happy with this so now you've learned how to use all these different things we only had three layers today and that was good enough for a beginner so that's what we've learned today so I hope that's been helpful I know when I was learning how to do this, I didn't know how to use any of these keys, so I had to watch a bunch of different videos. So I tried to show you in the first video uh, how to use all of them. So I hope that's been helpful, and I hope that you have a great day, and I hope that you enjoy making your art. Bye-bye.